Story hits it high and deep right field. Way back and gone! Three-run Bob, welcome to the big leagues, Trevor Story. How do you like that? I've got goosebumps. Me too. I'm not going to lie. Me too. Mom and dad are jumping for joy here at Chase Field. Wow! That ball is drilled to right field as he hit another. Touch them all! Two homers, two doubles, and the Padres win! An amazing night for Ryan Schimpf. And his 14th homer of the season, his second of the night, wins it for San Diego, 7-4. to four. Garcia plead pinch hitting, and he will hit a ground ball towards short. Russell goes to Baez, one, over to first. The Cubs are going to the World Series. The Cubs win the pennant. Here's the 0-2. Swung on, there goes the deep left. It is high, it is far, it is gone. He's done it again. The California Coastal layer sits overhead as we welcome you to baseball from historic Dodger Stadium. Tonight, the finale of this four-game set between the New York Mets and the Los Angeles Dodgers. It's Dodger baseball, and it's next on the show. Alex Wood gets the start for Los Angeles in this one. Harold, any thoughts? Well, he has really pitched well at home, and I, I don't know if it's the energy from the fans or he feels comfortable on this mound. However way you want to slice it, he's thrown well at home, and I think we'll get another good performance at home in this game. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. And as you can tell easily from the splits, he's really struggled away from their home ballpark. Now Reyes awaits the 1 1. A called strike over the outside part of the plate. And not a bad night for baseball, and even 70 degrees here at game time. Look out. That one almost got away from him. 2 and 2 now. Now the pitch. On the ground to third. Turner has it. Throw on to first will take care of Reyes, and that's how we get things started. And now a chance to meet the Mets. Who are you focused on, Dan Plezak? Well, I think you have to be a little bit concerned about the struggles we're seeing from David Wright. Watching this last game, he went 0 for 4, and it just looks like he's out of sync right now. Maybe this game is the game that gets him going. In now, David Wright. His career numbers against this pitcher has seen him go 3 for 9. Now here it comes. Down low, two balls and a strike. Harold, you look at this Dodgers team as they enter play here tonight. They're coming off a loss last time out, but they've been playing well. Winners of five straight prior to that game. Well, Matt, they're playing good ball. If you look at the standings, they got a nice, comfortable lead. But comfortable can be, it can be trouble. You got to stay focused, keep your foot on the pedal, and just continue to put that opponent away because this little lead can dwindle quick. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. Running hard, he's digging for second. And he is in there safely with their first hit so far, a one-out double. So a double into the gap has him in business here with one away. As we check out the top Mets in that department, you can currently see he's third best on the ball club. Stepping in, Yoenis Cespedes. He's come up in big spots like this more than once this year, currently second in the NL in RBIs. Here's the 1-1. One, one. And that one stayed too low, apparently. He's set, and the 2-1 pitch. Just a bit high that time as he misses for a ball. Well, we're playing cat and mouse already in the first inning. Look, I know it's a three-ball count, but I don't think he's pitching around him because look at the on-deck circle. That guy's a pretty good hitter, too. 
Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Right. Rounds third and is digging for the plate. The run comes across to score, and they jump ahead 1-0. And he will pull into second with an RBI double. Every manager and every pitcher in the league loves to play with an early lead, and they've got one here. Back-to-back -back doubles put them up by a run with the opportunity to stretch the lead here with another dangerous hitter set to step up. Now batting, Curtis Granderson. We show you what he did in May versus what he's done so far at the plate in June. And Granderson trying to work his way aboard. He's got it to three and one now. Well, to me, it just looks like he's really aiming the ball a little bit right now. And it's funny, when you do that, you usually don't have as good a control as you do when you just let it go free and easy. Drilled to the right side. He lays out, but he can't make the play, and it's through into right. And the runner from second will stay put at third, so they're runners at the corners now with one away. Adrian Gonzalez is going to come in now and take over following the injury. Now playing first base, number 23, Adrian Gonzalez. Striding in, Michael Conforto. His career numbers in this matchup, hitless in three at-bats. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. With two strikes and the runners at the corners, this is a big pitch coming up. Got to execute to hope to either get a strikeout or a double play ball to help you get out of this thing. Ground ball to second. This could be two. The second for one. Over to Gonzalez, and they get the double play they needed to get them out of the inning. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. Thursday night baseball rolls on. We'll have more after this. Robert Gesellman gets the starting nod for the Mets. What do you have for us on him, H? Well, he comes in with a whip under one. That means he's not getting a lot of traffic on the bases. And when you limit the traffic on the bases, the less runs you're going to give up. So that's why he's been effective and been able to keep his team in game. At the plate is Andre Ethier. First chance for him here after appearing as a pinch hitter in the game last night. And here's a ball hit in the air. Darno is under it. One out. Now a moment for the Los Angeles Dodgers starting lineup. What's the key to sending fans home smiling tonight, Harold? Well, Matt, they find themselves already down one. The big thing here, realize you got a lot of game left. Just score one run. Try to get right back in the game, even it up, and play the whole nine innings. You can't just play part of the game, play the whole game. At the plate, Jock Peterson. And you can see his home road splits there. He has not fared very well in front of the home crowd, oddly enough. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Frozen with a high fastball there. We'll see if they try to climb the ladder even more on the next pitch. Got him. Man, I love watching a pitcher that just rears back and blows smoke by a guy at the letters. That's the ultimate challenge pitch. And for me personally, watching hitters swing and miss, man, that's a sight of beauty. Here's Corey Seager having a very nice year, currently second in the NL batting chase. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Tries to go the other way as this is in the air to left field. Cespedes is there and he'll put it away to retire the side. One, two, three, go the Dodgers. They're down one nothing. Here's Jay Bruce now. He's back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. Have a nice flight home, 
Here it comes on one and one. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. Two one pitch is a knuckle curve taken for called strike two. Into the windup. Here comes the two two pitch. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now. Three and two. Travis Darno will be next. Swing and a line drive, but foul. Pitch swung on and hit in the air toward the line in right. Gutierrez moves over, one down. All right, time for the majestic defensive alignment for the Dodgers. And down at first base, Adrian Gonzalez. You know, the one thing I like that he does probably better than any first baseman in baseball is crash on the hitter in a fun situation. He is convicted. He gets all the way in and dares you to swing. Very aggressive. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. Oh, good action on the two seamer there, and it's one and two. Ready on one and two. A little bouncer. That's a foul ball. Tapped out in front of home. Grandal has it. Throw on to Gonzalez, and that's out number two. Stepping into the box, T.J. Rivera. And a quick glance at the numbers will tell you it's been a huge struggle for him at the plate this year. And a knuckle curve missed that time, two and one. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with the bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty. But, hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. Sinker misses there, and now he's in trouble, three and one. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. Sinker stayed high but called for a strike. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Hit hard on the ground to second. And that is through into right field for a single. So he wins the full count battle and finds a way to extend the inning. Well, that's a big hit right there. So often overlooked. But what it does, even if he doesn't get a hit here, the pitcher that is, now the pitcher's not leading off the next inning. You get the pitcher to the plate right now. Into the box now, Robert Gesellman. And this is taken for a cold strike. And he's not in love with that call either. It's one and two now. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Misses, ball two. Well, these are just extra pitches that are just going to add to your pitch count. He's not trying to work around him, and no reason to, but sometimes you just lose the strike zone for no apparent reason. He's ready with the 2-2 pitch. This is line to left, and the pitcher's got himself a base hit. There has been a big influx of pitchers that can swing the bats, and he's one of them. Nice line drive swing right there. They've got some athletes in the game now. Into the box, Jose Reyes. A knuckle curve there, and he thought he had him, but it's two and two. Wow, that's 40 pitches for him already. This doesn't have the makings of a start that he's going to go very deep. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Grounded back up the middle. Throw won't get him. And now this ball's going to wind up out of play. And that will compound matters even further. And don't forget, on a ball thrown out of play, the rule says that the runner gets the base he was running to, plus one more. Stepping in now, David Wright. 
And he misses again, ball three. Well, you know, giving up three straight hits is bad enough, but now it looks like he's starting to nibble a little bit. It's hard not to when you're getting hit, but you don't want to put yourself at bad counts. Three and one, here it is. Right over the middle, knee high. You know, this isn't a ballpark that yields a lot of runs, so when you've got a chance like this to put some early runs on the board, it becomes really important to do so. High in the air into shallow left center. Ethier's there. And the inning is over. Mets forced to settle for one here in the inning. On now to the bottom of the second. The Mets are out on top, two to nothing. Now in the box, Justin Turner. He's got that average way up into the 330s to begin the day. Can't get him to chase. It's one and two. Those 0-2 curveballs are really tough for guys to lay off. There's a reason it's such a common pitch in that count, but he did well to spit on it there. Granderson is there, and he has it for the first down. All right, time for the majestic defensive alignment for the right. Mets. Fielder. And I'm looking down there right. at the catcher, Travis Darno. The thing about Travis, not a big guy, and he's had some injuries along the way. But if he can stay healthy, he's got a great pitching staff to catch. Here's Franklin Gutierrez. He drove in one of their two runs in last night's ball game. A fastball that just misses inside. HR, these Mets as they enter play here tonight. They come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. Yeah, Matt, the series didn't start the way they wanted to. Clearly, you lose the first two games, then you win yesterday. That's why a win today gives you a split to salvage the series. Yasmani Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandal, looking for better results than last night when he went 0 for 4 in that one. The high fastball is in there. That misses, and we're even at 2 and 2. A 2 and 2 count. Here's the pitch. Line foul into the seats over the Dodger dugout. Matt, I like the last two pitches. The change up and then the fastball. And he's late with the swing on the fastball right there. You got him in between right now, and that's an advantage to the pitcher. And he'll get under it to put it away in foul territory, and that ends the inning. So they breeze through this half of the inning. We've played two full. The Mets lead this one two to nothing. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Joanna Cespedes. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Hot shot to third and handled for the first out. And with that, there you get a look at what's happening in the race in the National League West. Ready for another chance? Curtis Granderson. He singled his last time up. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And that pitch catches the inside corner. Granderson waits on the 1 2. He pulls this one into right. And this is down in front of Gutierrez. It's a base hit. So he'll hold on at first following the single to right. Make it two hits for the him right here this evening. As we check out the top Michael Mets in that Don department, Porto. you can currently see he's third best on the ball club. Digging in to try it again. Michael Conforto. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Three and one. Here it is. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. Now batting. Digging in for his second at bat. Jay, Jay Bruce. Bruce. 0 for 1 here in the early going. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. A changeup over the inside corner.
He's set and the one two pitch. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. Oh he might have got away with one two strike breaking ball that ended up being in the zone. I think he probably won that out of the zone but fortunately he just fouled it off. And there's a swing and a miss by Bruce as he sat down on strikes two away. Riding in once again Travis Darno two on two out for him here in the third. Here's the one and one delivery. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. He's got a couple of pitches to deal with right here, but he's starting to lose command of his pitches. It might be time to take a step back and try to refocus and making some good pitches. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. There isn't a hitter alive that doesn't love hitting in fastball counts like three and one. It's usually a pretty fruitful count in terms of getting a pitch to drive. Fastball in there, three and two. You know, I think this is a big situation in this game. They've got to lead by a couple of runs, but they don't want to look back on this inning when this one's over and think that they left some runs out there on the base pad. Scoring more here would be huge. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. On the first, and the Mets are going to come up empty here as that ends the inning. Two left for the Mets, but they hold a 2 nothing lead. So striding in, Logan Forsythe, 7, 8, and 9 to start the home third. Not much going on offensively so far for these guys. Six up, six down. We'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Cespedes is there. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Batting eight. First baseman. Digging in now, Adrian, Adrian Gonzalez. Gonzalez. He's currently tied for second place on the team in home runs. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats out of play. It's one and two. Looking for the strikeout, here's the one two. And the changeup is way low that time. Dodgers have yet to break into the hit column here. Swing and a flare hit toward right. Conforto coasts under it. Two down. Into the box, Alex, Alex Wood. This guy is still looking at a zero in the hit column. Bases are empty here with two men out. And this is going to be a foul ball. And that's going to be high two and two now. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. The 2 2 one more time. Swing, and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And he will indeed make the play in foul territory to retire the side. Dodgers down in order. They're still down. It's 2 0. Into the box now, T.J. Rivera. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. And now some action in that Dodger bullpen as a left-hander has begun to get loose. And this is low, ball two, two and one. Hitters count now, here's the two and one. He's fallen behind now, three and one. You can bet they love ball four here. That gives the pitcher on deck an obvious bunt situation to move the runner into scoring position. And all oh, that looked to catch him flush down near the foot or the ankle. And a great job to stick with it here as he gets the first out of the inning. Up next for the Mets. Catcher. Now with the plate, Robert, Robert Gesellman. He reached on a single in his first try. Pitch on the way. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. 
And that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes. And the first two are retired here to begin inning number four. Boy, there's the perfect pitch right there, the straight changeup. He hadn't used it yet in this at-bat. And what does he do? He uses it, pulls the string, and gets the big strikeout. In now, Jose Reyes. And he puts it on the ground to second. Forsyth has it. Throw on to the first baseman. Gonzalez will take care of him, and the inning is over. Mets go down one, two, three, but they're on top two to nothing. At the plate is Andre Ethier. Back to the top of the lineup as they're still looking for their first base runner in this one. No doubt about that, Matt. They've yet to figure this guy out on the mound. He's looked great so far. He has, but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Ground ball left side. Lights got it. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Now batting. Here's Jock Peterson, Peterson now. Comes John into this at bat Peterson. 0 for 1 in the ballgame. No runs, no hits. One error in the ballgame for the Dodgers to this point. And he takes a good swing at that one as this is sent down the line in right, but ultimately into the crowd of foul ball. And another foul ball. Swing and that's hit out of play up into the plaza level. Here's the pitch on two and two. Driven down the left field line. Will it stay fair? It will not. Just slicing foul at the very last moment. So close to extra bases. Oh, and he could only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. That's a pretty sad attempt at hitting a baseball right there. No doubt he was completely fooled because that was a curveball and it looked like he was late on a curveball. That tells me he gave up on it right till the very end and obviously there was nothing he could do at that point. Line down the left field line. But this will be foul. No runs, no hits. One error in the ballgame for the Dodgers to this point. Again, he sends it out of play. Breaking ball misses the corner. Two balls and two strikes. That's back-to-back -back breaking balls away, but now he's got himself into a little bit of a tough spot. You probably can't throw that again, so your opponent is probably up there just looking for a fastball that he can drill. Lifted the other way to left center. Granderson on the move. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Former cover boy David Wright leads things off when we come back. It's the Mets, two, and the Dodgers, nothing. Adam Liberatore is going to take over now here in inning number Dodgers. five, so it'll be a number bullpen game six. from here on out. Adam Liberatore. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. And he misses two and one. Here's the pitch. Right on the corner, a fastball that he takes for a strike. He might want that pitch back up and away. That's a pitch you can really drive if you have the right approach towards that opposite field gap. And a swing and a miss that time by Wright as he couldn't come up with it. One away. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Into the box now. Joanna Cespedes hit in the air to center field. Peterson has a read on it. Two down. Center fielder number three. 
Curtis Granderson. Here's the center fielder, Curtis Granderson. Couple of singles to his credit thus far. Two out, nobody on. Now a check swing, but that's in there for strike three anyway, and the inning is over. Down in order go the Mets. They're up two to nothing. Standing in, Justin Turner. They'll start things out here in the home fifth, and it's been tough sledding for this lineup through the first half of the game. Yeah, they haven't had any momentum going to the plate so far in this one, Matt. They need something to break their way and wake them up a bit. Be nice to get these fans involved at some point as well. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Hard hit toward the hole. That's a hit. The first in this game for the Dodgers. Hey, Matt, it's fun to watch good pitching. Don't get me wrong, but, man, I want to see some offense. I'm a hit. I like run score. Right, Fifth there. inning, about time they got hit. Gutierrez. At the plate, Franklin Gutierrez. He's 0 for 1 thus far. A runner at first with no outs here. Good swing. Just got to try and straighten that one out. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. Darno has a play. One away. A little bit over halfway home tonight. Bottom okay, of the, the fifth Dodgers. as we get a look at our Patrick. line score to this point. Yes, and boy, just money. one hit for these guys. And they have not swung the bats well. That's putting it mildly. Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandal. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Cespedes is after it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Now at the plate, Logan Forsythe comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. A runner on first with two away. Sent in the air out to straightaway center. Branderson is under it, and that ends the inning. One left for LA. They're down two to nothing. Striding in once again, Michael Conforto. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The 1-1 one, one pitch. Slider stayed too low. Ball two. Now that's a slider that's pretty easy to recognize. Started on the outside. You know it's going to continue to run off the plate. The one that's difficult is that one that starts in at you and still breaks over the plate. And the slider is low and inside as he just about got him there. Ready on three and one. Here it comes. Right over the middle. Knee high. He's set. Here's the three and two. Nope, Tough pitch ball. to lay off, but he did, and it's ball four, so the leadoff hitters aboard to start the sixth. Now batting. First Here's Jay play. Bruce now. Jay it's been an 0 for Bruce. 2 effort for him to this point. Nobody out, runner on first. Swing, Swing and a ball hit to the left side, and this is going to wind up a souvenir. Another 2-2 offering. Hit hard on the ground to second. And that's going to be a base hit for Bruce. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Well, the good ones have that back control. You see right there, he had a hole on the right side. First baseman was holding. Second baseman playing double play depth. And he shot it right through there on the right side for the hit. Nice job. Standing in now. Travis Darno, and he puts it on the ground to second, and that's through for a base hit. 
And they're content to play station to station here as the bases are loaded now with still nobody out. Well, that's a big hit right there. You might be wondering why they hold the runner up. Now you have bases loaded. Anytime you have no outs, you don't want to force that guy to be thrown out. Now you put the pressure on the defense with the bases loaded. Into the box, T.J. Rivera. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Matt, I just think he's pitching scared. Look, he's getting hit a little bit, and now he's falling behind another hitter. Challenge somebody. Ready to deal. Here's the two one. And they roll the dice with the squeeze, and he gets it down. And they'll step on first for the out, three unassisted. Something you don't see all that often anymore as the runner was breaking from third. The perfect suicide squeeze gets him a run. Pedro Baez has given the ball here to try to work out of a tough situation. Two runners in scoring position to deal with. In now, Robert Gesellman. And he finds a way to catch the zone here. It's one and two. Well, you got two runners on scoring position, one out. Good thing, you got the pitcher at the plate. You got to attack him just like a normal hitter. You can't give in right now. Oh, Ball two. So tough to lay off that pitch he just missed on. That's a sweeping slider. You got two strikes on you. That ball just continues to move, and he laid off. Three and two. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on two and two, but when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone, it's obviously easy to take that one. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Robert Gesellman sent packing for out number two in the sixth. I really liked it. He gave up nibbling out of the zone trying to get him to chase. That wasn't working, so he just reached back and fired a good old country hardball fastball right by him. No better. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Mets played a run on a couple of hits. We'll see eight, nine, and one do up in the bottom of inning number six. The Mets lead it three to nothing. Here's Adrian now. We'll start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non-existent to date. No doubt about that, Matt. They've been completely overmatched to this point. One hit through five innings. I mean, what else can you say about the pitching they faced other than it's been fantastic? We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. Looks like a left-hander has begun to get loose out in that Mets bullpen. He pulls this one into right. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. Hey, look, he may be hitting at the bottom of the order. If you put him in another lineup, he's at the top. Well, this lineup is loaded. Don't overlook him. Pedro Baez. Yes, he'll Puig will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 66. Yes, Puig. A runner at first with no outs here. Smoked on the ground left side and this will get on through past Reyes for a base hit. We'll try and loosen up here as he'll take over at short following the injury. Number 13. Ready for another shot now. Andre Ethier. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. First and second here with nobody out. Now time is called and this might be to buy a little time for that reliever to get loose. To two and two now. Well, he's having a good amount of success here, Dan, even though he hasn't really gotten a ton of swings and misses. Yeah, it amazes me how every game you pitch can be so different, Matt. Sometimes it feels like guys can't touch you and you're just punching everyone out. But other times, you don't have your good stuff and you really rely on movement and location to get outs. That's been the case for him today, and it's really working. Shot. Peterson.
Into the box now. Jock Peterson turned on down the line. He's putting on a little bit of a pitching clinic now. Look, he gives up a single and a single. Then he got the double play ball. Now he's got two strikes. If he can wiggle out of this, leaving a man stranded on base, that's a really good inning. He'll try it again, three and two. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Dodgers leave one. Still down, three nothing. Back here at Dodger Stadium. Getting set for the seventh inning now with the Mets out on top. But first, let's check out the game summary through the first six innings of baseball. Yimmy Garcia will come on to make his 40th appearance this season. Jimmy Garcia. Digging in once again, David Wright. He'll start the seventh in what's been a fast moving pitchers duel today. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Hit on the ground out to short. Scooped up on the backhand. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. And I thought this might happen based on how close that play was at first. The skipper's out of the dugout, and it looks as though he might decide to challenge that out call. Well, I think we're going to have to wait and see what the word is from the dugout, but here's another look at it. Wow. Tough to tell if he was out for certain from that angle. I can see why this was a really tough call for the umpire. And that's a thumbs up from the bench, so they will challenge the call on the field. So the umpires on replay duty in Manhattan will now review the play from all available angles in order to make Ladies the final and decision. Gentlemen. The Mets have decided to challenge So here's the one last look player. at that replay from another angle. There has to be indisputable evidence in order to change the call. And boy, I'll tell you what, I just don't see it there. I'd be pretty surprised if this challenge works out for them in this case. And the review process appears to be coming to an end. So here comes the decision. And he is indeed out at first as originally called. So they lose the challenge and the ability to use any further challenges for the rest of the game. Standing in now, Joanna Cespedes. And the pitch misses low and away for ball two. Two and one now to Cespedes. Hit hard. Foul. Now the Dodgers get a right-hander up and throwing in their bullpen. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Hit out towards second. Forsythe ranging deep into the hole. The flip from short right gets him, and there are two away. Center fielder. It is Curtis Granderson. Granderson. He's two for three thus far. Here's the one and one pitch. Line drive snagged on a short hop. Throw will go to Adrian at first, and with it, the side is retired. Mets go down one, two, three, but they lead it three nothing. Josh Edgen gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Josh Edgen. Digging in to try it again, Corey Seeger. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. Crowd gets up for the 3 2. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two seamer, and that's out number one. Leading off the inning, your job is to get on base and set the table for the inning. That was a pretty good at bat that he pushed the count to 3 and 2 and made the pitcher work, but I think he'd like to have that 3 2 pitch back. Pretty sure that was ball four he went after. Stepping in now, Justin Turner. But there to take this one is the second baseman, and that's out number two. The batter, right fielder. Ready right for player. another chance. Gutierrez. Franklin Gutierrez. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball, two and one. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Sharp ground ball to third. 
And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. One, two, three, go the Dodgers. They trail it here three to nothing. Number 46 is ready, and he'll take the ball from the manager. Number 46. Ready once again, Michael Conforto. A couple of walks for him thus far. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Now a fastball as he has to lean out of the way there. The 2-1 pitch. Oh, he wanted that one, but it misses for ball three. He's set. Here's the 3-1. Takes a high fastball for a strike. We're seeing quite a few pitches up from him right now, and that can obviously be dangerous. A cold strike there, but he might need to lower his sights a little bit. And a good take there will net him a base runner as it's ball four now to start the eighth inning. First baseman number 19, Jay Bruce. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And stepping in the dangerous left-handed hitter, Jay Bruce. Nobody out, runner on first. A changeup that just nips the outside of the zone. In the dirt here. And a nice job to keep the runners at bay as the count moves to two and two. Two and two count. Here it comes. Oh, and they pull the string on a good change up there as he swings and misses, and he's set down on strikes for the second time tonight. Time to bring you up to date on the numbers for our two starters. It's our starter comparison, and the hometown nine have had trouble generating much by way of hits, as you can see by the left side of your screen. Digging in and looking for more, Travis Darnot. He steps in off a base hit in his last at-bat. One and one, here it is. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Runners on first with one down. Hey. Two and two. Good pitch right there from the reliever. Tough for hitters to do much with pitches in that location unless they're looking for it. Outside and a full count, three and two. Hey, not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. Three, two count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Crowd gets up for the three, two. And there he goes towards second. And there's ball four as this one gets away a bit. Well, he battled to get it to a three, two count, but that pitch wasn't even close. Now he's got a man on with one out, so he's got to focus on trying to get the ground ball. Full count here. Here comes the pitch. Now both runners are breaking. And this is popped up. Back behind second. Seeger backs up and takes care of it. Two away. Up next for the Mets. Neil Walker, Walker will get the call here as he'll hit for the, for the pitcher. Number 20, Neil Walker. Hold high in the air out to right field. Gutierrez has it in his tracks. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. A couple of walks, but no damage. Back with more on a Thursday night following this. Hansel Robles is on to pitch now out of the bullpen in the York. bottom half of the eighth. Number 47, Hansel. 
stepping in and ready for another shot. Yosmani Grandal, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. And with Adrian Gonzalez just around the corner, we'll see a lefty getting loose in the bullpen now. Line fouled off to the left and a few rows back. Hard hit to first. Backhanded. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Now batting. A couple of good pitching baseman. performances by both Logan clubs here. Marsai. Three nothing our score as you get a look there at the inning by inning recap through the first seven and change. Into the box. Logan Forsyth. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Rivera scoops it up. In time to first, and there are two away. Now batting number two. Here's Adrian now. First two away here in the eighth, and Adrian. time's running John out on him, Danny. Yeah, they don't have a lot of outs left to work with, so it's time for someone to make something happen if they're going to get back into this thing. Popped up towards the seats as this gets out of play. Bases are empty here with two men out. Here we go. Foul back. Here's the one and two delivery. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Branderson is under it. He makes the play and that'll end the inning. Dodgers down in order. They trail in this one three nothing. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Your Sergio Romo played. will come on These now and he'll slide the into the seven spot in the now lineup following the double switch. Number Chase Utley will also come Sergio on now as so he'll move Romo. into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that line. double switch. Number Kicking off the top of the ninth as Dribble Cabrera as they'll look for some added insurance before the bottom half of the inning. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Sinker misses that time and it's 2 and 1. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind 3 and 1. Waiting in the on deck circle is David Wright. Ready with the 3 1. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. Oh, that's for sure going to be a pitch he wants back. You're not going to get many balls right in the wheelhouse from a top level arm like this. And this pitch misses here. It's ball four, and they've got a leadoff base runner aboard to start the ninth. The third baseman, number five. Stepping David into Wright. the box, David Wright. He was a ground out victim last time up. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. He's set. Here's the 3 1. A high fastball is in there. Count is full. Here's the pitch. Fly ball out toward left center field. On the move is Peterson. He gets there and makes the play for the first down. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. The left fielder number 52. Here's the left Yoenis. fielder, Yoenis Cespedes. Head to head numbers against Sergio Romo. One for four. Ready with the one and two. And a neck high fastball that time. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box.
ready with another 2 2. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Ethier on the run. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Now this is cut and thrown to first. Up next for the Here's the center fielder, Curtis center fielder. Granderson. On the Curtis night, he's two Granderson. for four with a pair of singles. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Here's the pitch on two and two. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Ethier's there. And that ends the inning. Met strand one. They lead it three to nothing. In is the second baseman, Chase Utley. And Dan, what's gone wrong for this lineup today? They're only three outs away from being shut out. Boy, you know, I just haven't seen a lot of fight in these at-bats. Now, of course, plenty of credit goes to that pitching, but the effort on the offensive side has been pretty lethargic watching from up here in the booth, Matt. Yeah, I would imagine it feels the same from watching in the stands in this one. Jerry Spamilia takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. There's a high foul ball as it finds a lucky fan in the upper deck for a souvenir. He's set and the payoff pitch. Neither guy willing to give in and the ad battle continue. Once again a 3 2. That's lifted the other way out to left. And he will run this one down, moving to his right, and that's the first out of the okay. inning. So the leadoff man gone to start the top of the ninth as we take a look at league saves leaders entering play. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. At the plate is Andre Ethier, lifetime against Familia, hitless in three at-bats. Just a bit high that time as he misses for a ball. You know, you don't always have to straight challenge a guy on a 3-2 count. With a three-run lead, no one on base, this is the perfect situation to do it. No reason to nibble and possibly set up a big inning. Center fielder. Stepping up now, Jock Peterson. Three at-bats for him in this one, all ending with him going down on strikes. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. Ready with the two and two. And he struck him out again. So that's the old sombrero there, partner. Four strikeouts in the ballgame. Wow, he's just a lost now cause in this one. That's the fourth time he struck out in this game alone. And that's not something you'll forget very quickly. That's about as bad of a day as you can have. In now, Corey Seager hits sharply toward the right side. And that'll get down for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. So he waited till the ninth inning, but he comes through here to extend the hit streak. That was close. Well, you can tell he's got ice water in his veins. No pressure. He gets up there in the ninth with this streak going and delivers. Into the box now. Justin Turner taking called strike two and now they're down to their final strike tonight. One strike from a shutout. Here it comes. Ah, and he strikes him out to end it here as they were able to get the possible tying run to the plate but could not cash in. Hey it's hard to win games at any point but to win games on the road especially in this ballpark it's never easy to win games on the road so they are very happy with this win and tonight's ends as a three nothing shutout win the New York Mets rack up a division leading 40th victory of the season Robert Gesellman earns his sixth winning decision in this one Alex Wood was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss 
Jerry Spamilia earns the save out of the bullpen, his 19th of the campaign. So that's a wrap here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click on over to theshownation.com. Final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious New York Mets. Three runs on nine hits. No error. The pitch. And a high drive. Hit back into deep right field. Junior has just knocked the door down to the five. A high drive into the lower deck and right. Number 30 touches them all. And boy, what a Father's Day gift for Senior. Getting his 500th home run to right field. What a scene this is here at Bush State.